guys, this is Tridip and you are watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip. I am a digital marketer, a visual thinker, a certified design thinking practitioner, an Amazon best selling author, an international awarded artist, a photography evangelist and a blogger. Hope you are doing great. While watching a good many web designers in the last few years, I have noticed one aspect where many of these wonderful designers struggle and that is typography for web. I have also seen many of them have taken a gradual transition from mainline design to online world but still follow the mainline rules to do designs for web. In this video, I will give you all some basic run through of a sure shot way to do typography for website design. But before we deep dive, kindly like, share and comment on this video and if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of our upcoming updates. So let's get started. As you all know, when we are migrating from mainline medium to online medium, we shift from CMYK mode of colors to RGB color mode. At the same time, we move from point to pixel and EM and from 300 dpi to 72 dpi. Also, we have to understand we have to shift from the idea of page turn to eye navigation. So whatever we do, we have to take all these things into consideration. In this video, I will use two tools to show you how to arrive at a sure shot grammatically perfect typography for website designs. One of the tools is very famous and all of you use it. Yes, that's none other than Adobe Photoshop. And the other is a web based tool called typescale.com. Type-scale.com. Believe me, this is a brilliant website that will definitely help you to ace the typography for website design. So let's open a Photoshop document. I usually prefer a 1920 by 1080 pixel page and then increasingly I increase the height proportionally. And also side by side I will open typescale.com. So as you see I have opened type-scale.com and at the same time I have also opened my closest friend for the last 25 years my Adobe Photoshop. And as you see, I have told, I have opened it in 1920 by 1080 size. Also, my, if you see the font, it has been set in pixel format. So that's the way we will work. So let's first start with the body text. Always remember that we should start with the body text rather than starting from header and then going to the body text. The first thing everybody should know that we should scale up rather than scaling down. Many designers I have seen, they start with the header, then the secondary header and then the last the body copy. I would suggest you first start with the body copy and then scale up to match what header size you should use for the uh, layout. If you have seen that I have taken a 16 pixel body copy size. I have taken Lato as a font which is quite readable in this place and if you see what will be the line spacing which is very important to know. Also remember that if you keep this font from left to right it will be too much of an eye movement which is not actually very good for our website design which is absolutely not permissible that is not a good user experience. So you should actually think what should be the max to max size so it is basically permitted that you should keep a 50% or a 70% maximum of your um, page size so the body copy should be like that this is for the header section I am talking about when we are talking about lower down the rand where, where we have a three column layout or something like that there you can have much smaller uh, body copy space so say for example if it is say for example three uh, column space so more or less your one column of should be of one third size of the page okay so for the time being let us keep the font the body copy till this okay and always remember this hyphen is not actually a good way of doing things so you should just turn off this hyphenate over here so that your enter um, text flows in the next line. So what should be the usual line spacing? What should be the usual line spacing? So let's go to the character 
uh, tab so by default if you see if you keep it auto this is the way a line is spaced in um, Photoshop but if you just go a bit back and try to read this thing you will see it is very difficult to read so what should be the ideal line spacing of a body copy it's very simple for a 16 pixel font size just let us pull up our calculator so for a 16 pixel um, font size ideally we should have a 145 percent of the font size as the line height so almost like a 24 pixel 23 24 pixel should be your line size the line height so let's just go to this and in the auto we just write 24 24 is good ideally it is 23.2 but it's better to use a whole number there rather than fractional numbers so your body copy is set now let's hit back to this now let's hit back to this website this is a fantastic website believe me this is a fantastic website to actually consult before you go into any sort of design so if you see the base size they have written a 16 pixel which is equivalent to 1 em so if you see over here in the right hand side it shows that this is your body copy size and these are h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 so they have shown five header uh, options and then your paragraph you can also go down by but usually I don't prefer to use um, a smaller size than this because you don't know exactly who will be browsing your website and what is their uh, visual condition so it is always be better to use a font size that can be read easily by everybody so if you see 16 px is equal to 1 rem so what i will do say over here it has written as poppins you can also check and change to lato also that is very much possible since so lato so the enter design change into lato which will which is very much um, similar which is actually the same one that we are using in our design so basically let's see if I'm using a h1 what should be its size see very clearly it has told that 48 should be its ideal size of the header your work is done and also it's give you an idea that what how your website will look how your website text will look you can just copy this text from here and you can just take it to Photoshop and paste it okay and at the same time let's see how let us see let us type this is our header one text awesome and we should take it to 48 lovely see this is so easily done over here you need not to tax your brain for anything see this is how Photoshop gives you all the options to align your text so there should not be any sort of confusion where how to align your text or not so what should be this height usually for a header one text we take uh, the percentage to 120 as the line height so let's see what should be 120 of 48 so let us just bring up our calculator I use 48 as our font size into 120 percentage 
usually like 56, 57, 58 should be the line height over here where what is the difference between the header one and the um, paragraph text so what we will do we will simply take a selection a fixed size say say for example 56 is okay and I will just draw a square from the bottom of the text lovely and I drag my margin over here and if you see this is the space that your body copy should start also if you are using a header to copy this will substantially go down your header to copy should start from here so say for example if I jump to this page and see what will be the second h2 header to copy it should be 39 or 40 uh, so we can have a header 2 over here not necessarily you have to always keep things in proper case your header to can be all caps so let's see and uh, let's put this thing to 40 so that should be your header to and then from here again you put a fifty six size box and take your text down over here see how very well this particular layout is made so if you want to check the alignment you can do that Photoshop suggests you the alignment is a perfect aligned text copy so your header is there which is 48 your header 2 is 40 it can be 38 also I would not go for the higher side I will go for the lower side so I will take it to 40 to 38 so this is your entire layout you cannot go wrong this is a grammar so how we have done it we have first taken the body copy checked what should be its line heights if you see by default um, I think the last file where I have done the work the um, horizontal spacing of the characters was already kept or the kerning was kept at 10 you can actually keep it 10 because 10 is a good uh, uh, spacing for readability many of the times by default Photoshop starts with 0 so it is totally your choice whether you want to keep it as 0, 5 or 10 but it is a design call okay so you have to understand in many types of uh, today's design where people play with typography and all these things you will find plethora of um, uh, kerning um, usage that people have used so there is no hard and fast rule but readability should not be compromised you also have to understand this is not a brochure design this is not a book design where you are going through pages your you are going as a eye navigation how people read a website is not the way how people um, read a book so you have to understand these things what should be the easiest way to keep people um, very easily consume your content from web so that's all folks, blindly follow these rules that I have showed you and you will see that you will never go wrong. And as you learn the grammar well, you will be able to also break the rules and create your breakthrough designs. Hope you have liked the video. Please like, share and comment on the video. And if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications of our upcoming updates. Till we meet again, good luck and God bless. Keep practicing. Goodbye.